I can't believe how much the studio has grown from the very first day when I showed you guys a tour of the new studio room. This place looks totally different. YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Will, back in the building with another video. Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, what's good? Dap your boy up. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, checking out this video. Today, I got a really special video. I wanna give you guys the 2.0 version of my YouTube studio. Here is where it all goes down where I edit each and every one of my videos uploaded on my channel. I also hang out in here, do some video gaming. Here is my desk right here on this side. And if you spin around this way, this is the main entrance to the studio. When I originally moved into this office, like it was literally bare bones, minimum, nothing, not even any paint color. And to look back where we are right now, man, it really shows how far you can come. On my main door right here, I have these acoustic panels. These are two inches thick and they're supposed to help reduce echo inside of the room. Right here to the right, you have a grass wall. There is actually a bathroom door on the other side of this. And I basically used the grass wall to hide the door. These particular pieces are measured at 20 inches by 20 inches. What I ended up doing was connecting them on this original wall over here. The grass pieces are very easy to cut and I just ordered a staple gun from off of Amazon to staple parts of the grass wall pieces onto the wall, connected together. And this was the final result that it came to. This just looks super dope to me. I'm gonna plan to use this as a backdrop when I'm making future videos. It honestly just looks way better to me than to have this doorway that I had here previously. For right now, I have two different neon signs. I got the good vibes and I also have this just relax. I thought that this would be a really cool backdrop to use when creating future videos. I'm actually so proud of this project right here. I use these panels on the wall. I'm sure you guys have seen these panels everywhere. These panels are from Art3D. I know I've been seeing them a lot in everybody's setup lately. What I really love about these art panels is the way that RGB lights reflect off of them. It really creates a super cool vibe. This kind of was like a mistake right here. I pretty much had enough material of 3D panels and grass wall panels to create what you see right here. I pretty much just made this with the remainder amount of materials that I had from other projects and this is what it came out to be and I really think that this is a vibe. All right, so a quick tour of things that I got going on over here. So this is a 4K television. This is 43 inches and this is from LG. As you can see right here on the top, I have a camera because I have the Govee Flow Pro bars right here on the back i got the camera on top so it's mimicking the colors i mean this is a must i really love this especially when gaming on xbox one or catching up with some youtube videos next right here i got a led diffuser and inside of there i chose to go with the led from Cololite. i just did a full review on this led strip honestly is like my favorite led strip right now due to all of the leds being able to be addressable i also have the Cololite. LED strip going on the back of this TV unit and it's doing this really cool effect. I got the Colo Light hexagon panels, HomePod mini, some Xbox One controllers. I got the Xbox One X. I'm so pumped that I was finally able to get it. I got the Xbox Game Pass. Right now I'll be playing Forza, Call of Duty, Need for Speed I've been playing and Madden. This is my pegboard section. Honestly, not much has changed over here. I still have the Art 3D panels with the lack shell and LifeX LED strips. I recently picked up this neon sign that says Dream. It's actually a real neon sign. It looks super dope. And you already know on a pegboard, you got the utility items, things that I may need at arm's reach to complete a rig or to film something or to fix something. I got my Black Panther collection 
right here hanging out this is pretty cool i actually got this from ikea i've been using this as a storage solution this is like my charging station area over here coming on over to my main desk setup not much has really changed on this desk but i do want to give you guys a few updates ergo chair pro i think it's still a phenomenal chair my chair of choice for my desk setup for editing videos i actually ended up purchasing a new keyboard this is my first mechanical keyboard ever i'm not sure how much i'm liking it i love the rgb effect obviously i also just got this in this is the all white grove made desk shelf if you guys haven't checked out that video please go show your boy some love it's gonna really fit that modern aesthetic i can stash all of my stuff here like my macbook pro i got under there i got my cal digit ts3 docking station people always ask me what is this this is basically the brains to the computer you plug one thunderbolt 3 cable into this and now you have all the ports you possibly can need that's pretty much it as far as changes with my desk setup i got this i want to say it's a palm tree the greenery is a must especially inside of a place where there's like no windows i have windows in here but i don't never let in sunlight i'm a vampire don't judge me but <laughs> i really love just adding plants all around in my setup as you see i really love how huge this is and this just really helps set the mood inside of this room i recently just picked this up this is the alex drawer unit but it is the bigger one so you guys know i have a leopard gecko his name is taco He's sitting right inside of here. Now, as we come back around full circle, I got some closets right here. Trust me, you do not want to go inside of there. I've been using this stool right here. This stool is from Autonomous. I really love this stool to just move around my studio. Back to this desk that we talked about in the beginning. This desk is the Flexi Spot all-in-one sit-stand desk. I literally did a full review on this desk that I'll link. I've been using this desk right here as kind of like a little setup utility station for all of my videos here on my channel. Now this is a sit stand desk so I am able to adjust this on the fly. My camera right here is the A7C from Sony. This is a shot that you guys have been seeing lately. Me sitting at the table with the studio in the background. This is the shot from my view right here. I use a 20 millimeter f1.8 lens let me know if you guys want to know more about the technical side to being like a youtuber i got a monitor right here so i can look at myself i'll have this camera kind of like off to the side right here as the b camera while i'm filming like the a roll this is an angle that i've been really loving lately to do my a roll shot this would be another angle of shooting videos for my youtube channel i think that this looks like a really dope look as well for creating content what i really want to do with this though is add wheels to this so that way i can freely move it around and position this table to any angle i want inside of the room whenever i'm ready to film a video now i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what i got attached to this desk which makes this even more functional what do you guys think about this is this a cool look for video i have a monitor mount attached to this desk so on this monitor mount is actually a dual one the pole is like the extended version so it goes up higher than like normal i'm using it as an overhead rig and a light tripod so what i do is connect my rode video micro and then i have access to this light right here this light helps light up any product i'm reviewing or unboxing and then the other side i will connect my camera to to do the overhead shot studio light that i use is going to be the godox ml60 i typically just leave it like it is right here connected to this table and i flop it around and aim it in directions depending on where i'm filming at i need to get wheels for this as well yeah this is my already set up film a youtube video setup right here uh the place where i pretty much can have my script ready to go sit down and bang out some videos every content creator you need something like this see like i also think that this is a really dope angle to shoot a video i feel like hiding the doorway with the grass wall gave me more space in a room ideally for my studio i want every angle of this room to be like film ready at all times so i could just pull up the camera and film i don't have to think too much about making content i just want it to be as easy as pressing the button 
and doing my thing like I'm doing right now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the studio tour. I hope I gave you guys some inspiration. Also, yo, I just made a TikTok. On my TikTok, I'll be doing short videos around tech gadgets and desk accessories. Same stuff I do right here on YouTube. So if you enjoy this, I'm pretty sure you will like me on TikTok. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy hanging out with me today. Checking out the room tour, the studio. You already know we in the building. I will try my best to link every single thing down in the description that I have in my studio in case you guys want to check it out. With all that being said, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave your boy a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And remember, guys, never stop creating. Deuces.